Ladies and gentlemen, Discourse Mice here, and today I'm going to be pooping my pants playing Alien Isolation. So let's get right into it. Uh, Alien Isolation. This is a game I've been waiting for a long time. I love the Alien series. Although I'm a massive horror game fan, sometimes I just, I really poop myself. It's, it's pretty funny to start a new game. <sighs> Medium, because I'm weak. Looks good. Whenever you see the adjust this, so barely visible, very vis barely visible, just a little bit visible. Only g always give it a little extra push. So let's get right into this game. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane. Lambert. Parker. Brett. Ash. And Captain Dallas. Are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. Alright, here we go. Alien Isolation. I'll try to be quiet during the t cut scenes. I don't like to talk during those. Ripley? I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. Commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley. When this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrance if you want to come along. Maybe be some closure for you. So that was Amanda, Ripley's daughter. Ripley being the main protagonist in the Alien movies. First two, I mean. Alien and Aliens. I'm sure the only two good ones, in my opinion. Alright. 
I was in the original alien. That little thing. I think it's called a thermometer bird, and there's supposed to be a glass of water that it dips its beak into. And there's like this weird temperature change science, kinetic energy and stuff that goes on. That makes it bob up and down. Is that James Cameron? Is there room for the little guy? That really looks like James Cameron. I've got So, let's see where we're going. Over to the box. Yeah, this way. I'm terrible with directions, so you're going to see me flash up the map a lot. It's so in Japanese, too. That's unusual. Okay, we'll use you, I guess. Berlin, you want to look out for a navigational officer? I have a friend that's just lost his ship and he's looking for work. I can vouch for him. He's got good papers. Same old story. The Mega Corps undercut him, picked up all his clients. Contracts are getting harder to come by for some s for the smaller companies, and I'm thinking of getting out myself while I still have something to sell. Sounds like you're doing okay, though. Dropped by the docks and heard you just shipped out. It's fast to station. What a shithole. Still, I hear Waylon Yutani pay well. Good luck to you if you can't beat them right. Let's catch up when you get back. Blaine. Right. It's a pretty high tech camera for when this game is supposed to be set. This is like a retro sciencey game. Like, this is what the 70s thought the future would look like. Alright, well. Get dressed, I guess. And that was quick. So basically, you'll see, like, old bubble TVs. And they're called bubbles because they've got the little curved screen crammed everywhere in the ship. And make sure you click overwrite save data. If you play this game or it won't save. Alright, we already went there. Can't run. Can we? Nope. I walk. Guess I am headed the right way. Speak to Samuels. Speak. We'll go to Samuels first. Oh, Ripley. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities, a well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model. The Nostromo. Yes, M class. A later pattern for close inspection. Yeah. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up there? He's not a seamed traveler. Hypersleep may have been something for him. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on him. Just this does look a lot like the Nostromo from the original aliens, but as Mr. Samuel said, it's the same class. Oof. Oh, <laughs> don't do that to me. Taylor, 
Good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's morning either. Sorry. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Leyland Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. I'm physics if though. I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. <laughs> okay. That is insensitive. I realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. Hmm. So I talk about Samuels. Be there in Looks a moment. Like we're up. Arena storm incident. <clears throat> Two and Taylor. Arena storm incident. Wayland Yutani file numbers. Hey Taylor, I got your case request. It may take a while to dig out the files and the incident. And the incident happened before my time at the company, so I'm a bit fuzzy on the details. In 21-22, the Wayland yutani cargo vessel U.S. CSS Nostromo went missing. No trace was found of its cargo or crew. Apart from the, a new science officer, the rest of the crew had worked together before. Seven and all. Dallas, Ash, Kane. Was it Kane? He spelled it right the first time. Ripley and Lambert. Right, how do I go back? MSV seven seventy seven sixty Torrens M class starship Relaine Diane Connor William Owner of Rowan Contractor William Utani I might have missed something. Outbound and return transportation William Utani retrievals fast pool. Consists of three within Utani. Interstellar communications antenna long haul hypersleep chamber. Retrofitted from a tow rig. Retains operational heavy duty tow umbilical. Alright, let me just make sure I didn't miss anything here. Oh, yeah, Parker and Brett. Wayland Utani lost a lot of money from it. It's a bit of a black mark in history. Get the impression they don't want to mention it anyway. I'll try and find the files later. Clarify some of the points. If you want, I can help you go through them then. Maybe some of your luck will rub off on me. I hear upstairs have an eye on you for something big. I have to get used to this. I would have made W and A the controls for moving the message up and down. Hope you all had a restful journey. The Torrens is in very good order for an old Empire captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docked? Don't give me that look. <laughs> Creepy. I'm going back here. I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how are we doing? SMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector lock. Prep comm so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. Oh. Hey Samuels, you forgot your briefing documents. You too. Alright. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is the commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sebastopol Traffic Control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale Yutani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo Flight Recorder Unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers portside over. <laughs> Hello, 
Mr. Marshall? Mar Marshall, this is the Torin. Say again? The station's comm seem pretty screwed up, so I fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. What the fuck happened here? My god, Ripley! You're doing good, Tim! Not fun anymore. Couldn't the torrent see what was happening? That's yeah, a big plot hole already. Couldn't they have seen that something went wrong, you know, come to like help us or something? Looks like, yeah, that's, that's the end of chapter one. Got the little swirly save. So I guess I'll end this episode here. Uh, I'll begin working on episode two. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. See you later.